welcome back to Making Waves. Thanks so much for being here today. Well, here at Making Waves, our goal is really to be a resource for both new cruisers and experienced cruisers alike. Today, what I'd like to do is share some information that I think might be especially helpful for new cruisers, and that is some unexpected expenses you might find on your cruise. So stay tuned, let's talk about it. So you've booked your cruise, you've paid off your cruise, and you're getting ready to head onto the ship. There's no better feeling in the world, right? Well, you don't want to, at the end of your cruise, get a very unhappy, unexpected surprise of a large bill for you to pay or a large amount that's been put on your credit or debit card. So these are some things to be aware of that will likely cost you more money on your cruise. So the first item is shore excursions. So that's whether you book them through the cruise line or on your own. And I feel like this is kind of the most obvious one. People know, right, that you have to pay for shore excursions, but definitely worth mentioning. Uh, and I always recommend comparing the shore excursion offerings that the cruise line has against what you might be able to book on your own and compare prices and and all of the activities to see what works for you. Now, that being said, you don't have to spend money on excursions if you don't want to. You can arrive in port cities and walk around and explore on your own, and that can cost you absolutely nothing. But just something to be aware of, if that is something you're looking to do in terms of booking shore excursions, you'll wanna plan in advance for those expenses. All right, let's talk about drinks, uh, lots of different types of drinks. So we can start off with alcoholic drinks. If you don't purchase a drink package, you do have to pay for every drink that you get. Uh, and a gratuity on top of that, it's typically 18% gratuity is charged you on top of that. So that's again, something to be aware of. And one thing I like to do is compare the cost of a drink package with what we think we'll actually drink. Now we're not big alcoholic drinkers, but my husband does enjoy his sodas uh, and coffees and specialty coffees. And I like those specialty coffees and teas as well. And so we really look to see, is it worthwhile for us? You may find out that it's not, and you'll just want to pre-plan and pre-budget for the drinks that you do purchase. And remember that those do come with that required gratuity as well. All right, next up, let's talk about sodas. So, on most cruise lines, I think Disney might be the exception. Uh, you do have to pay for sodas if you don't purchase a drink package that includes them. So again, it might be worth it for you to get a drink package. It might not. You just have to kind of look at what your typical consumption is and what the cost of that might be. Uh, if you do purchase a drink package, the gratuities are usually charged in there. Um, but if you don't purchase a drink package, each time you order a soda, for example, you will receive a charge for 18% gratuity on top of that. I mentioned a minute ago, specialty coffee. So those do come at an extra charge as well. If you don't have a drink package, again, with the 18% required gratuity charged on top. Uh, if you do have a drink package, usually with most cruise lines, there's a couple of different levels of drink package. So the cheaper package maybe covers drinks up to nine, 10 or $11 and anything over that you pay the difference. Uh, and then there's typically a higher level a more expensive drink package that will cover all your drinks regardless of cost. So definitely something to just look at. And if you like specialty coffees, you may want to consider getting a drink package or again, just knowing in advance that you're going to be charged for those and have money set aside to cover that. All right, other expenses you might encounter, and this one's probably fairly common sense as well, is salon and spa services. So if you want to get a massage, if you want to use the spa facilities, that often comes with a charge. If you want to get your hair done or a facial, uh, those are our extra charges and those do typically also come with a required gratuity added on top. Now, I know those things can just make your cruise feel that much more special. Uh, Will and I keep saying we're going to do a massage on, on one of our cruises and we just haven't done it because it is kind of pricey. 
Um, but maybe on our next cruise, we'll do that. But again, that is something to just be aware of. All right, the next unexpected expense might be photographs. If you have your picture taken by one of the ship's photographers, uh, we often do this, for example, on the gala or evening chic evenings and you wish to purchase those pictures, whether physical copies or digital copies, that will come at a cost. So definitely be aware of that. Uh, we have found through the years we buy less and less pictures. I also feel like, and this is just our experience, the quality of the photographs have kind of gone downhill over the years. Now maybe it's not that way on all cruise lines. We still do generally buy one, maybe two. But I think you know, if you're having a, a really special event on the cruise, maybe you have a family reunion, that might be worth investing in a photo package so that you can take lots of pictures and really remember your wonderful cruise vacation with family and friends. All right, let's turn our attention to shipboard activities. Now, of course, you have pretty much free reign of the ship unless there's a special area reserved for sweet guests. So the pools obviously are free to use. Uh, and most areas of the ship, as well as some onboard activities. So I'm thinking of things like trivia contests. Those are free to participate in, but there are other activities that do charge a fee. So things like bingo or the deal or no deal game. If you wish to play those games, they typically do come with a cost. Also, if there's an arcade on the ship, all of those games do come at an extra cost. And I think of things like the roller coaster on Carnival Cruise Lines, I think it's called Bolt. That's $15 just to ride it once. That's pretty pricey. So if you have kids, you know they're gonna to wanna to do that. Make sure you're planning ahead for that and understand what those costs will be. Another shipboard activity that I personally did on our last cruise was glass blowing. And I made this paperweight, it's a jellyfish. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Um, and it was kind of pricey. It was $125, but the memory is kind of worth it. It was such a great experience. And then we had this keepsake to remind us of just a wonderful cruise vacation. So some things I think are worth it and some things maybe not so much. All right, next up is internet access. Now, a lot of cruise fares will come with basic Wi-Fi included and you may choose to uh, purchase the premium internet, particularly if you really need very reliable and relatively quick online access. If you're working uh, on your vacation, I encourage you not to. I strongly encourage you to unplug. Um, but for me, I know we typically do purchase the premium access because I am a bit of a workaholic and I do wanna be able to access my emails, respond quickly in case there's any fires at work. Uh, so that's just an expense that we always plan for in advance and we try to book that in advance whenever possible uh, so just be aware of that again if you're good with the basic option and that's included in your cruise fare that's you know fantastic so with internet access again if it's something you feel like you need just be prepared to spend uh, some money on that in advance or when you get on the ship all right next up let's talk about room service so on pretty much any ship you can definitely get room service but it may come at a cost to you that you won't find out about until the end of your cruise uh, so certain things across most cruise lines are free so continental breakfast between like 6 a.m and 10 a.m um, on most ships is typically free but anything else typically comes with a charge. Now, those charges are usually not too large, but remember they are gonna add the 18% gratuity on top of that, and that really can add up. I don't think we ordered room service once on our last cruise, which is unusual for us, uh, but on our cruise prior to that, we did, and those charges, shockingly uh, added up. So I think we kind of learned our lesson there and we won't order room service as much, or again, we'll budget in advance for that. One note on room service, as I was researching this, I think I read that on Carnival for five or $6, you can get pizza delivered to you anywhere you are on the ship. That's a pretty great deal. So just wanted to mention that. Let's talk about laundry. So if you feel like you need to do laundry, most cruise lines do offer laundry services. I know Princess used to have actual laundry machines that you can use. I don't know if they still do that on their newer ships, 
but either way, it will likely come at a cost. Unless you have um, some loyalty status on a cruise line, sometimes they will add in one free bag of clothing per person if you have reached a certain loyalty level, but otherwise that will come at a cost. All right, last up for all you fitness junkies is fitness classes. So the cruise ships all have really nice gym facilities in my opinion, and so you have free use of the treadmills and the exercise bikes and the weight machines and the free weights. But if you're interested in taking a class, like a spin class, for example, that will typically come at an extra charge. You can usually sign up for those on your first day on the cruise and you'll be able to kind of see the prices for all the classes that you're interested in. But just be aware that is an extra cost, except on Virgin Voyages. I know they offer fitness classes included with your cruise fare. So that's, that's pretty great. All right, cruisers, did I miss anything? Any other unexpected expenses that you've incurred that you think would be important for others to know? Please let us know in the comments. We so appreciate that. Again, thank you so much for taking time to watch. And until next time, happy cruising.